This is a uh, quick uh, video to show you how to install the XPanel Designer software. Um, this is on a brand new system running Windows 10. As of this date 316 it has all the latest patches. Once you've created an account you can go to the Simon website under support, select software, and the XPanel Designer page is here. 2.4 is the latest release as of this date. Note, pay attention to the notes on this page. It says after installation you need to install the designer DLL and the serial driver DLL. This is to avoid problems when you're connecting to the um, XPanel hardware. The downloads for these are all included along with some news information. Also note that 240 um, does not support these older HMIs. Uh, these have been out of production for a number of years now and they're not supported in this current release. So after you download the XPanel Designer file, it happens to be a zip file, I like to put them all into a single uh, folder so I can get back to them easily. As with uh, any installations on Windows 10, I like to right mouse click and run as administrator, even though I am logged into this computer as an administrator. This pops up from time to time. It's a warning from Windows telling you you may be at risk by installing this software. If you click on the More Info, then you can go ahead and allow Windows to do that installation. Accept the end user license agreement. As with all Simon products, they install at a root level folder called Simon. In this case, it'll be Simon and XPanel. So install. Now that everything has installed, you'll get this font select uh, program that pops up and it'll let you select the fonts that you can use when you're building your applications in the XPanel Designer software. I don't like to use a lot of fonts, uh, just some of the normal ones. Um, Arial is good. Click OK when you're done selecting your fonts and select Finish. So now that the XPanel Designer has installed, we'll go ahead and install those two additional files. I'll just close this and I'll go back. We have a serial driver DLL that's a zip file, so I need to extract that. I'll go ahead and copy that and then that will go in the XPanel folder. So uh, the default will be C um, slash Simon and then XPanel. So we just go ahead and hit paste. We're going to replace the existing file and now we'll go and get the other DLL, the designer DLL, and replace it as well. There we go. So now we've got the new um, the new DLL files that came out after the release of this version 2.4 and they've been installed successfully. So we can go back and start the X panel. If we go to All Apps, Simon, kind of scroll down there, X panel designer. The X panel designer is up. The first time that you make a connection to the X panel with a USB cable, you should be connected to the internet because you will need to automatically install Windows Mobile Device Center. Uh, this is a product from Microsoft. What I'm going to do now is um, 
plug in the USB cable onto the X panel. This can take several minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and record this. You can see that the de device in the in the device manager, a new device has shown up. That driver will install automatically. <coughs> And now you'll see Windows Mov Mobile Device Center is preparing to install. This will automatically download from Microsoft and install automatically. I have seen this take as long as 10 minutes. So this one is going very fast. Since the X panel runs on Windows CE, this is the product that Microsoft developed to connect to a Windows CE device. This is all you need to do. There's nothing else you really need to do with this other than have it install. It puts in some drivers that allow that connection to take place. After this is installed, it's good practice to reboot your computer to make sure all the drivers have installed correctly. Okay, I have unplugged the USB cable from the X panel, restarted my computer, and after the computer restarted, I opened XPanel Designer. I'm now going to go in and open the mobile Windows Device Center. And it says not connected. I'm going to plug in my USB cable. now shows that I am connected to my device so I should be able to come in and do a download or an upload from the X panel to my PC and there we go I have now uploaded the project that's in my XPanel to my XPanel Designer software using the USB connection.